Hello everyone, welcome all to class one of CM1. In today's class, we'll discuss interest rates and actual symbols that are necessary to develop annuities, which are building blocks of the rest of the chapters. Learning the art of applying annuities is so simple and yet interesting that you could not stop doing it. However, to reach to that level, we need to complete interest rate chapter properly. So without further ado, let's get started. Money grows over time when it's invested. We'll start with savings initially, savings in the banks. Suppose you saved 100 on 1 January 2020 in a bank and the interest rate is 10%. What is the amount you are expecting to get on 1 January 2021? It's very, very simple. You will get 10 extra on whatever you deposited. You deposited 100 at time zero. This is called number line. This is zero and this is one. You deposited 100 and you are expecting to get 110 because the interest rate is 10% per annum. If you deposit for one year, you will get 10 extra. If you deposit for two years, you will get more amount. However, here in this case, you deposited for one year, you want to withdraw it on 1 January 2021, so you will get 110. However, the interest rate is 20%, then you will get 120, 20 extra. If you deposit for one year, you will get 20 extra. It's so simple. Suppose you invest it for more years or maybe the amount is more. When we say 10%, that means if you deposit 100, you will get 10 extra. That is 10%. 10% 10 per 100. However, I is the interest rate per annum per unit sum assured. If you deposit to one, see here, if you deposit to one, you will get 0.10, that is I. I is the amount per unit sum assured. That's why I is 0.10. If you deposit 10, Sorry, if you deposit 100, you will get 10. That is 10 per 100, 10%, 10%. I 10% you can write or I 0 0.10 you can write. They are one and the same. If you deposit 1000, you will not get 10 extra because it's 10 per 100, but 1000 it's 100. You get 100 extra, 1000 plus 100, if you deposit 10,000 for one year, you get 1,000 extra. That is 10% at that rate. If you deposit one, you will get 10 pesa. You will get one rupee 10 pesa after one year. If you take one common, it's one into 1.10. Here you can take 10,000 common. Again, it's 1.10. Here also you can write thousand so that you will get 1.10 within the bracket here 100 into 1.10 if you generalize this it will be like this deposit a for one year and receive a into one plus i we'll get to that later see this one is here deposit an amount a at time zero this is the timeline for one year and receive AI interest so that your final amount will be A plus AI, that is A into one plus I. The accumulated value after one year is A into one plus I. Suppose you deposited 100 at time zero, then you receive 10 after one year, two tenths after two years, three tenths after three years, four tenths after four years, five tenths after five years. 
if you are wondering to write all those in the form of a formula it will be like this 100 100 into 1.10 100 into 1.20 100 into 1.30 because we are talking about simple interest rate it's very simple 10 per year that's all 10 every year 10 extra every year that means the reference amount is always the initial time the time when you deposited the money whatever amount you deposited that amount is only important other things are not important here we will not worry about the interest earned on this amount so every time it's 10 it is very easy here 100 110 120 130 140 150 you can write this way you can write in one line zero and here five or n you can write a will grow to a into 1 plus n i n i here you see 1.40 1.50 one plus this is actually 1 plus n is 0.5 n is 5 and i is 0.10 that's how we got 1.50 and 100 is the amount now simple rate of interest this is the formula a if you deposit you get a into 1 plus ni after n time periods here we have power power will come if the interest rate is not simple it's effective rate of interest or you can say compound rate of interest money will grow and you get interest on interest let's see i the rate of interest per annum simple if you write it will be like this a a into 1 plus i a into 1 plus 2i A into one plus three a after three years a into one plus n i. So a will grow this way after one year, after two year, after three year, after n year. However, writing such a simple formula for compound interest rate is not possible. Here, if you see, hundred deposited gives ten extra. after one year now this 10 earns another 1 10% 10 per 100 so 1 per 10 so this 10 will give you one extra this 100 will definitely give 10 extra so after two years your money will be 110 here 11 total 121 here it's 121 Here it's one ten, so hundred grows to hundred ten in one year. In two years it grows to one twenty one. In three years it will be one thirty three point one. You can calculate this hundred gives you ten extra. This ten gives you one extra. This ten gives you one extra. This one gives you ten pesa extra. If you add everything, it will be one thirty three point one zero. However, you can continue this way to calculate for the further years. It's better you can use this formula: hundred, hundred into one point one zero that is one ten, hundred into one point one zero square that is one twenty one. Hundred into one point one zero power three, that is one thirty three point one zero. Then hundred into one point one zero power four. Here hundred into one point one zero power five. It's very simple. This is what we discussed in the last slide. A grows this way. A into one plus i, one plus i square. One plus i power three in three years. One plus i power n in n years. 
this is the first example mr amit deposited 150 on 1 january 2020 how much you will receive on 1 january 2026 it's 6 years and again july that is another half year so 6 and half years if the rate of interest per annum is 10% per annum simple 10% per annum compound we can cut this one and then we'll go to the solution it's so easy 150 deposited for 6.5 years so any 6.5 that is the coefficient of i however in case of compound interest rate 6.5 is the power that's how we got little bit extra 278.407328 next one remember we are talking about two payments here in the last example we talk about one payment that is the difference between this example and the last example 100 deposited at time 0 200 deposited at time 2 how much you will get a time four suppose on 1 january 2020 you deposited 100 and you are planning to deposit another 200 on 1 january 2022 how much you are expecting to get on 1 january 2024 that's what you want to know remember here there are two payments so two payments separately have to find the accumulated value 100 will be there with the bank for 4 years however 200 will be there for 2 years so you have to write square here 2 years you have to calculate 4 years you have to calculate interest rate is 10% per annum you can write 1.10 power 4 Then one point one zero power two. The amounts are here hundred and two hundred. If you find the value will be three hundred eighty eight point four one. If nothing is given, we are talking about compound rate, not simple rate. Now we have to find the present value. The present value at time zero of an amount B at time one. suppose you want to get one you want to have one at time one how much you need to deposit now more specifically if you want to have b in your account suppose on 1 january 2021 how much you must have deposited on 1 january 2020 this is where you are finding present value present value of b is b upon 1 plus i when you are going forward you have to multiply money will grow if you come backward this way you have to divide by this factor 1 plus i and there is a notation you will see throughout this course v v for 1 upon 1 plus i instead of writing b divided by 1 plus i you can write b v so v is 1 upon 1 plus i this is what you need to remember this is only a notation now if you want to find the present value and the duration is n years you want to have b in your account after n years what is the present value this will be b upon 1 plus i power n here and this also you need to remember this is notation v for for 1 upon 1 plus i note that we are finding the discounted value of a single payment we are not talking about annuity here n years but one payment we will go to many payments later now this is another example mr john wants to accumulate 5000 in his account on 1 january 2026 
how much he has to deposit on 1 January 2021. The rate of interest is given 10% compound or 10% effective. So you have to find the discounted value of 5,000. That will be 5,000 V power 5. That is 5,000 divided by 1.10 power 5. That will give you 3,004.60. Next. The present value of B is B into V. That is V upon 1 plus I. We want to make V the subject. That's why I've written here. Then this one. B V square. The present value of B for two years. You can continue further for four years. This is B V power four. We have another example. Find the present value at time t is equal to zero of payments of 100 at time two and 200 at time four if i is 10% per annum. Again, we have two payments here and you need to find the discounted value, 100 value here and this 200 value here. How much you need to deposit now so that you will be able to get 100 after two years and 200 after four years. 82.65 suppose, 82.65 should grow to 100 in two years. So if you want to find the present value of 100 now, you have to use this formula, this one. This is what we have written here, 100 V square. Then you want to know what is the amount that will grow to 200 in four years. You have to use this formula. This one, 200 V power 4. That will give you 136.60. 136. That will grow to 200 in 4 years. So if you have these two amounts, you can add both. That is a single amount. If you deposit 219.2473, you'll be able to receive 100 after 2 years. You can withdraw that amount. And then finally at 4, if you go, you will get 200. This much for today's class. If you enjoyed, please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel to keep up with our latest content. Thank you all.